I'm going to discuss uh, the balancing of rotating masses over the next few minutes. And we'll begin by considering a propeller. So just assume that, that this propeller uh, is rotating and that the mass of blade one is equal to the mass of blade two and that the center of gravity on blade one is equal to the center of gravity on blade two. So we would say that the centrifugal force due to the rotating propeller is equal to m1 omega squared r1 and that should be equal and opposite to m2 omega squared r2. But what happens if the masses are not balanced? So let's assume for example that this blade here is slightly heavier. Well what's going to happen to the centrifugal force then? Well the centrifugal force on this side is going to be bigger than the centrifugal force on that side. And the propeller, if this is the center of the propeller, the propeller will want to shift in that direction. And then when it rotates around, it will want to shift in that direction. And when it goes around a bit further, it will want to shift in that direction. And so on. So here's the larger force and we've put a vibration sensor here on the um, on the propeller. So when the propeller is in this position the vib you know the force is purely in the horizontal uh, plane so the vibration sensor won't, won't sense it it's only measuring in the vertical plane. But when the propeller rotates to this position it will experience this force. When the propeller rotates to this position, the force is largest on the on the vertical plane, so we'll get this. And then when we go around again, it'll drop off until we go back to the horizontal position. And then there'll be no force in the vertical plane, it'll be all on the horizontal plane, but in the opposite direction from where we were here. When the blade continues around, the force will now be sort of downwards, and we can continue that on until we have one cycle done. So, if you were sitting on this aircraft, you would experience some vibration, and the frequency of the vibration would be equal to the rotational uh, speed of the of the propeller. If if this mass was bigger, then this force would would also be bigger. So if if the mass was if this was bigger, then this would go something like that. And if it was smaller, then it'd be something like that. But ideally, we would want to uh, get rid of the vibration. We would want to have uh, no vibration. And uh, we can do that by making sure that the mass and the center of gravity is the same on both propellers. And that's what we do when we're talking about balancing rotating masses. Okay, we're gonna make sure we get no, no vibration. Okay, so when it's balanced, then the force one here is equal to m1 omega squared r1. And that should be equal and opposite to uh, force two, which is m2 omega squared r2. We could add the uh, forces. So if we add both f1 and f2, it should be equal to m1 omega squared r1 plus m2 omega squared r2. Now, of course, when we add them, uh, the sum should be equal to zero, i.e. we want no force. Okay, so there needs to be a sign change in here because 
this force is going in this direction. Let's say it's just say that's negative. And this force is going in this direction. And let's just say that's positive. So we need to be careful about the 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 sign. Because when we add these forces up, um, this one needs to be equal and opposite of that one. So we want them to be equal to zero. Okay, so let's uh, let's assume our propeller is in this position, and uh, it's at forty-five degrees to the horizontal. So this force shown here, we can break that into a horizontal component and a vertical component. So the force is just the vector sum of, of both of these. And similarly, this force over here, it will have a horizontal component and it will have a vertical component. And if the uh, propeller is to be balanced, then the two horizontal components, um, we call it fx1, well, actually, that's fx2. This is fx1. They should be equal and opposite. And the two horizontal, or uh, two vertical components, fy1 and fy2, they should be equal and opposite. But we need to be mindful of the sign okay so we again if we're saying this direction is positive okay so here the vertical will be positive but the horizontal force will be negative here the horizontal force will be positive but the vertical force will be negative so negative down here and negative out here <coughs> so we need to be careful uh, about that when we're when we're doing these um, calculations but there is a method to doing it that where you don't have to uh, where you don't have to worry about it and that is if we take our forces so this is our horizontal component so uh, instead of m omega squared r uh, it's m r cosine theta so you're going to say what happened to the omega squared well when, when the when the propeller is balanced omega squared is the same for for both blades so if the propeller is rotating at a thousand rpm you know omega here is going to be 110 and omega here is going to be 110 so they're going to be equal and opposite so so we can disregard the omega so the force just becomes m1 r1 and if we're only looking at it in the horizontal so th this is the this is the force here so that force can be broken down into its uh, horizontal component and its vertical bond component so if the force is m1 omega squared r1 we've just said we can negate the omega then the vertical component so this this part here that'll be m1 r1 cosine theta 1 and the vertical will be m1 r1 sine theta 1 now the angle uh, here is 45 degrees and if I got the cosine of 45 degrees I get 0 0.7071 and if I got the sine of uh, 45 degrees I'd get 0 0.7071 but we want um, the force in this direction to be negative okay and we want the force in this direction to be positive so we're saying so if this is our this is our axis and let me change my pen color so if this is the axis here we want this uh, to be positive and in both the horizontal and vertical plane this is negative in the, in the horizontal plane but positive in the vertical plane and so on so 
if I got the cosine of 45, this would be a positive and this would be a positive. However, if I measure the angle from here, as shown at the red line, so if that, if that uh, angle so that is uh, theta 1, okay? So if, if we call this angle here theta 1, that would be 135 degrees. If I got the sine of 135 degrees, it would be plus 0 0.7071. If I got the cosine of 135, it would be minus 0 0.7071. And that's exactly what we want. So we will measure the angle uh, from, from this axis here. Similarly, um, if this angle here is 45, then we'll measure the angle from there. It'll come all around here, and that'll be 315. Okay, and if we measure, um, if we got the cosine of uh, 315, that'd be plus 0 0.7071, and if we got the sine of 315 it would be minus 0 0.7071 okay so by measuring the angles from this this point uh, that will help us do our uh, equations and we won't have to worry about signs then okay so yeah so theta 1 will be measured from that point and theta 2 will be measured uh, from this point. And we plug those into our equations, then the um, this sign will take care of itself. So that when we go to add all the forces, so when we add all the forces in the, x, in the x plane, if it's going to be balanced, they'll all add up to zero. And on the, on the y axis, when we add them all up, if it's going to be balanced, that will also um, add to zero. So, to um, to balance our our rotating masses, we'll end up the forces. So this is blade one, say for example, and this is blade two, and they should add up to zero. If they don't, then we have to include some sort of a balance mass so we'd have have to add on a mass to one of the to propeller blades so in our example you know if if this propeller blade was if this one was heavier than heavier than the other one then we'd have to put on some extra mass here so that the two two blades are um balanced so this is the resolved or resultant mass let's say so we, we will when we write that into our equation this should all be equal to to zero okay uh, it'll probably make more sense uh, in an example and I'll post some example uh, videos uh, uh, also